All right, so we got PM Grand Finals coming up right now. Uh, we on X and MG Leon. I think it's you. I think he's sponsored. It's Grand Finals. Yeah, this is Grand Finals. Um, can you get up for a second? Yep. So this is a classic matchup. <laughs> so I'm not sure who's playing who actually because they've both been maining Mars today. I feel for Fountain, this would be a better stage for Fox. Fox definitely showing momentum, short range attacks, getting in. Those shuffled nares are just yeah. so deadly. Getting him before and after that sword can just cause some damage. Marth trying to edge guard yeah. like Marth, it, Marth can. It's a very good stock there. Marth's definitely got a long wave dash, so you can definitely take advantage of to create some great spacing. Fox definitely showing why Fox likes these, you know, flat stages. Just come out to shine, forward air, forward smash, and then up smash for the kill. I think I think Leon is playing the Marth because of all the rising uh, pairs. Um, like soon. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm in camp. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. Okay. I want it. So yeah, uh, convincing first match. Wait, who's playing? Who's playing Fox? Yeah, uh, I was right. Okay. All right, you're right. So uh, Leon's still playing Marth. So you gotta switch the names. <laughs> you, you know what it is. Switch oh, your controller parts. Oh, the chat says that too. All right. Oh, I can do this. You want me to look at that? Whoa! Oh, damn. Alright, so we're gonna choose an even smaller stage for counter pick. I don't know if this is a, a great choice. We'll see. Definitely, Fox on FD is not something that, that Liam wants to face too much. Fox on Warrior. Warrior where? Maybe an even stronger. I think he'll get better back airs on this stage. This is an extremely fast matchup. Oh, yeah. Definitely seeing both characters just trying to throw attacks. Throwing out a lot of dash attacks, though. Well, that was a great grab there. That was nice. Oh, I see a self death. That's okay. If you can just make it back with one well timed up smash. Oh. oh. You see the, the up throws that Marth loves to do on spaces coming out a bit more. And the back here. Good smash. Leo did a good job getting a lot of percent on that last stock before he died. I think that's it. Nope. Yeah. Dealing with Fox. As much as in competitive smash you want to insert your own game plan, if your opponent makes mistakes, take advantage. That's what you're, what you're here for. Song is too happy for this match. <laughs> right, throwing, throwing out some fairs. I, I'm just, I've got a huge smile, just like that pig. Yeah. But, uh, it's always a great matchup. And 
Fox. Oh man, that up smash. Definitely he, a bit closer this stock than was last time. Did he wave dash into that? Or was this just, just, just straight up? Space are just so notorious for wave landing and wave dashing into all their moves. Way too fast. I'm not seeing much wave dashing by, by Leon right now. He's like to a lot of just attacks in place and uh, aerials. He's going to air, yeah. Most, it looks like his, uh, his game plan is just to keep Fox in the air and just get out of the range of shines. That's a pretty good game plan. Oh yeah. But we are dealing with Fox. <laughs> Fox in the air can always hit out those ups, up airs though, as you just saw. Gotta be careful. I mean, as Marth, you just want to stay out of the reach of the second up air. Because the first hit just knocks you to the side, so you want to smash the eye that, so you don't get hit by the second hit. Fox, of course, being super aggressive right now, wants to take as much damage on the He's an up B. You don't see a lot of up Bs, but Leon is just... Making it look viable today. Well, this will be some interesting. Oh, misses the options there. Off ledge play. Maybe you think you think maybe he should have been a bit more cautious there. Off ledge, or was it worth the risk? Maybe. I don't think he was expecting him for uh, for Fox to go under and use illusions to get back. But he caught it there. Nice. Oh. oh. That was a nice guard. And that's the stop. That's that. That's the game. So it's 1-1. One, one. No, it's 2-2. No, 2-0. It's two two, 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 two yeah. These players are definitely good friends for your uh, laughing with each other. So this is a uh, game match? Game this, point? Is, this is game point for Weon, but it can keep going. It can keep going for two more games. What is this song? Yeah. Uh, I think whoever did this build actually put the names of the songs at the inside of it. It's pretty nice. I haven't gotten around to learning Brawlbox enough to do that, but back to the game. We're seeing very aggro Marth here. I'm glad that he went for it. Oh, the Shine Spike. Always a classic. We got, uh, what was that? That was a, a dare to wave shine to wave shine. Strong combos, fast button presses. Weon showing Fox's fast movement speed. He's very good at it. As long as Weon has stage control, I think this is pretty much set. To, oh, that could have ended up ugly. We've seen a lot of today, we've seen a lot of counter picks just go back to the exact same stage. Yeah, did you see that? He went into he went to up B to get the, the hitbox and then shine down. It was pretty impressive. I mean it's great to see uh, up B used for more than just recovering. I mean Falco has that hitbox that can kill if you're too high with it. But I never see foxes ever use that uh, at least oh. offensively. I feel like Weon getting definitely a feel for Fox right now. This matchup is... It looks like he's figured out the, uh, the Marth matchup. He's got momentum, he's got There's stage control. Times. And that's that. Ooh. Oh, he tried to go for that combo again with the up B. Oh, but he gets spiked, oh. but that's the game. That's it what we call I worth. think that was worth it. That was <laughs> definitely <laughs> worth it. So that was, that that was, was grand, grand finals. 3-0. I think we...